Hey guys, another pick a card. Keep in mind it's a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Time to take that deep breath. You know the drill. Inhale. And blow it out. What number will you choose? One, two, or three? Reading one. Reading two. Or reading three? Question we are going to be asking in... This pick a card reading is, I got ghosted. What are they hiding? Again, this is a general reading. Roles may be reversed, may not resonate. But if it does, hit the like button. Question is, I got ghosted. What are they hiding? All right, let's get started. All right, so for the people that chose reading number one, why did they get ghosted? What is their lover, crush, twin flame, or soulmate hiding? First card to fall out. Oh, you got two cards to fall out. Eight of Pentacles and the Death card. You got the Eight of Pentacles and the Death card. Whoa, they're falling out two by twos. Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. And let's do one more. Lovers. All right. So move that just a little closer so you can see them. So you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Death card. The Ten of Wands, and also Seven of Pentacles. Last card is the Lover's card. Bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess. So, the High Priestess is saying that they are indeed hiding something. So what I'm getting from this is that this was becoming a burden for them that they refused to drop. Um, I feel like there were, they had a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you were unaware of a lot, a lot. Like they were walking down a rocky road, um, carrying all of these sticks, dropping shit behind them with a raven following them, which is a messenger from the spiritual realm. But I feel like there was no need to take on this much. They took on more than they could handle. And so when this relationship, or, or at that point, this relationship became a burden as well. Because they were already dealing with so much. And then... They had to also deal with this relationship and they couldn't switch between the two. So the work that they were putting in ended. The work that they were putting in ended and they decided to stop and assess the situation, assess where they, where they were and to pour back into themselves. Um... I'm seeing here that they do want to take a leap of faith. So that's what they're hiding. They do want to take a leap of faith, but I also feel like there's somebody in their ear trying to talk them out of this. I don't see that they're paying attention to that person. You see how they're staring just straight ahead and this person, this little elf looking fucker is like looking at them. So, I don't feel like they're paying attention to that. And I really do feel like they are wanting to take that leap of faith. That's that's the secret. But 
that's what they're hiding. But right now they're pouring into themselves. They they need a break. You got the two of wands here. They need a break. They they absolutely did sneak away from this relationship. They absolutely did. Um, and I believe that it slowed down before they snuck away. Like they didn't just walk away and everything stopped suddenly. Like it slowed down because they just were overwhelmed. And so they they started self-sabotaging because all these people were involved. All this other shit that they were carrying, they ended up picking up all these sticks. And it affected this relationship. And they do miss you. They do think about you. But their life just kind of unraveled. Things things got out of hand. It got out of control. And so right now they're trying to balance within again. You see that yin and yang on his arm? They're, they're just stopping and balancing. They have to pour into themselves. And so that's what they're hiding. Life got the best of them. And um, they do want to come back. Uh, I don't see where there was like a third party situation or anything like that. They just have a lot of things going on in their personal life. They just, they can't deal with it. And you, so that's it. Number two, number two. Let's see here. People who chose reading number two have been ghosted. What is their lover, crush, soulmate, twin flame hiding from them? Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. If you dig it, hit the like button. It may not resonate with everyone, though. Subscribe anyway. People who chose reading number two. They were ghosted. Oh, six of wands is your first card. People who chose number two were ghosted. What is their lover hiding from them? Second card. Chariot. People who chose number two were ghosted. What is their lover hiding from them? Four of Cups. Let's put this like so. Oh. Knight of Wands. Let's get one more card. People chose no oh, okay. Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. Definitely a relationship here. Definitely, 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 definitely. Underneath the Hierophant, you have the Two of Cups. And underneath that Two of Cups, you have the Page of Swords. They're watching you. Just so you know. They are watching you. They're in Hermit mode right now. They are in hermit mode right now, withdrawn from the relationship and from you, turning within. Why is this four of cups here? Why is this four of cups here? Why is this four of cups here? Turning within because we got the ten of cups here twice. Turning within because there's some toxicities in this relationship, some toxicities either within themselves, in you, or in this relationship together. Um, that is causing them a lot of restlessness and a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of restlessness. Uh, why is this devil card here? Honestly, guys, I feel like there's another person involved. Uh, could be wrong. Let's find out. King of Cups here. So we have somebody who loves you dearly. But we got Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm feeling like it's a third party. There's the Ten of Wands. So this toxicity became a burden for them. Um, it was it, That's what they're hiding. The fact that Ten of Wands and Devil Card. Ten of Wands and Devil Card. Why is it here? There it is. Three of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's been some type of betrayal. Underneath the Ten of Swords, we have the Sun card. There's been some type of betrayal that you are going to gain clarity on. 
you will obtain some clarity on when they come to offer you a new beginning. Um, I see that this person was really uh, adored by many. Probably a cute person, a beautiful person. They got a, a lot of attention and they moved, they acted on that attention. I just did another reading on this. They acted on that attention and they were in and out with you and they will continue to be in and out with you as of right now. And it happens very fast. They're very charismatic. They're attractive. They're funny. They just have a lot of life. Like they love life. There's a lot of passion for life. Um, and I think in this point in their life, it's difficult for them to settle down with one person. It's it's not that they don't love you, because they absolutely do. And again, you have the Ten of Cups there twice, coupled with the King of Cups, the Two of Cups. I mean, there's love here. There's, this is a sacred relationship, a sacred bond. But I don't see right now where they're, they're coming back around. I see that they're watching you. Um, you have the Tower here. And underneath that tower card, you have the Eight of Swords. So they absolutely know what they've done. They're self-sabotaging themselves um, by putting themselves in a relationship. Because this person likes sex a lot. Like a lot. And they feel left out in the cold with you. They feel they you've walked away and they want to talk to you they want to communicate to you but they are immature with their communication when it gets down to the heart of matters they struggle with communicating emotions they just love life like they they love life and they're just a free spirit. That's what I just got. They're a free spirit. And when it comes time to commit, they go into that shell on the top of his scarf. To deal with one person for them is just not where they are right now in life. They like to offer you a cup of love. They would like to um, have the courage to talk and to grow and to develop and unfold but they have to mature. They're, they're just not mature right now. And they struggle with this. Like this isn't easy for them. It's not easy for them to not be with you. It's not easy for them to not speak to you. It's not easy for them to have made any of the decisions that they make, but it was what was best for you. Eventually they may come in and try to offer you that New beginning that's grounded, stable, more mature. But as of right now, um, I do see that you're missing them as well. As of right now, um, the universe is, you're being protected. They're protecting you and the universe is protecting you because of this energy. The player from the Himalayas. So they do love you though. They they care a great deal about you, but um they they are protecting you from them. So that's number two. And number three. What person who ghosted the people who chose reading number three? What are they hiding? The person who ghosted the people who chose reading number three. What are they doing? Please be as clear as possible. One card at a time. Please be as clear as possible. One card at a time. Thank you. Seven of cups. I asked the universe to be as clear as possible. They give me the seven of cups. The seven of cups is a card of chaos and confusion. <laughs> we have the page of pentacles. People chose reading number three. 
Why were they ghosted? Yeah, the Five of Swords. Why are they ghosted? What is that lover? Confirm your soulmate hiding. Five of Two of Swords. There is nothing but confusion coming up for this person. Whoa. You have the Six of Pentacles. Let's get one more. Whoa. Or two more. You have the Emperor and you have the Star card. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Fool. Okay. This person played mind games with you. This person played mind games with you because they're immature. And they, they themselves are confused they are they could be stuck between two people they are between you and someone else they want to balance they are looking they are in the process now of trying to figure out who do they offer this pentacle to they're trying to choose between you and someone else. And they're confused. They are utterly confused. And because they are confused, they can't control the situation. It got out of hand and they're just like destroying shit behind them. But hopeful that clarity will come and that they can take a leap of faith offer a cup of love to someone but right now they're just defensive they're defensive because or guarded guarded because they're being selfish they don't want to lose either one of you all but they know that they have to make a choice because they they also don't want to hurt either of you and they have a special bond with you that they don't have with the other person. But that other person still has something that you don't have. I shouldn't have used the word special, but they, that's, that's how they feel. So they had to walk away from you. They had to withdraw slowly because they got in too deep. Look at that card. Three people. Overindulgence. So what they're hiding is that they want to move. They want to make a decision. They want to speak to you again. Um, but they, they also want to be sure that they make the right decision. This other person that they could be choosing between you and that other person, that other person could also be like the mother or father of their child too. Like they have a past history with that person. And in, in truth, they know how that ends. Um, they know how it ends, but it's almost like a soul tie. Like they have a soul connection to this person. And um, that person has caused them a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of heartache. And they know they need to let go, but they may be to even stand for the kids. They're connected to him, though. So even, even if they do decide to come to you, they still have to deal with this person. And I'm not sure they want to pull you in on that mess because when they get ready to leave this person, this person is going to make it very difficult for them to leave. And so right now they're just guarded. They're just protecting themselves because it is exhausting to be in between uh, the, you all to be in this whole mess you're exhausted they're exhausted the other person is exhausted um, but but they feel bound to that person through responsibility not love yeah that's what they're hiding that's what they're hiding what they feel with you they've never felt before but you have your own life you have a sense of confidence. You have an aura about you. That's actually what attracted them to you. Is that you're self-sufficient. And I just said that the other person, they, they will always 
be tied to them or bound to them, they feel responsible for them because the other person is not as strong as you. Yep, that's what they're hiding. So that's what I got, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Thanks. Bye.